Here are some single reed basics. For these demonstrations, I will be using saxophone reeds because they are bigger and easier to see by the camera. All this information, though, is applicable for any clarinet or saxophone reed. We divide the reed in half. The top half is called the vamp, and the bottom half is called the stock. On the vamp, we have the tip, that is the most delicate part of the reed, the heart of the reed, the edge, and the shoulder. On the stock, you have the bark and the heel of the reed. Your reed will most likely come in a plastic container. It may look like this, may be a different shape or size. Gently remove the reed from the case and avoid tapping or hitting the tip at all. Reeds need to be wet to play properly. Some players like to put the reeds inside a clean glass of water. Most players prefer to stick it in their mouth and suck on it like a popsicle stick. New reeds usually have an odd taste, but it will go away eventually. This is called a mouthpiece cap. It's a good habit to put this on your mouthpiece to both protect the reed and to keep it from drying out when you need to play it next. Whenever I am waiting a long time before I can play, or I need to wander around the room with my instrument in my hand, I'll put this on every time. When you are finished playing, Gently wipe off any excess moisture with your fingers or a clean cloth. You'll want your reed to air dry out. You can put it back in the case that it originally came in, but there are better and sturdier cases that are worth the investment to protect the reed and also let the entire reed air dry. One may look like this, and you can have two. Another choice might be one like this that houses eight reeds. And that's up to you. Reeds are produced in various thicknesses of the vamp. We categorize them in 0.5 increments. Many beginners will start on a size 2 or a size 2.5. When you start to feel like you can't get the sound that you used to get on your instrument, or you have to pull back your air to get the tone you're used to, it's a good indication to move up a size of reed. The higher the size of the reed does not mean that you are a better player. You want to find a balance between having a good tone on the entire range of your instrument and not wearing out your embouchure every time you play. I have been playing single reed instruments for over 20 years and I happily play on a 3.5 sized reed. There are a lot of companies that make single reeds for your instrument. Be aware that cheaper reeds usually mean that it's made sloppier and with worse materials and it won't play as well over time. To be safe, ask your music teacher what brands they recommend that you invest in for your instrument. It's best to have two to three playable reeds in your case and to rotate which one you play on each time you assemble your instrument. This helps your reeds last longer and saves you money in the long run.